Good morning. Happy Wednesday, Black Knoll family. Let me tell you what to expect in the email below. First, you'll find an invitation to worship. Many of you are still worshiping from home. Uh, we want to do our best to be connected with you. Uh, we're still offering communion after the first and second services and would love to see you there. But if you're worshiping from home, please let us know that you're out there and let us know how we can be connected. If you're ready to return to worship in the sanctuary, please come. Uh, don't remain at home to give your spot to someone else. We want to know what the need is and do our best to meet that need for worship in the sanctuary. But there are some things you can do to help us. Uh, first, you now have the opportunity to register several weeks in advance. Uh, please do so, especially if you have younger children uh, that you'd like to participate in nursery or children's worship. Uh, second, when you do arrive on Sunday, please try to arrive a little bit early. Uh, the deacons are making heroic efforts to play a kind of Tetris in the sanctuary, seating everybody in just the right spots to maximize our social distance. Uh, but it's a challenge, so thank you for your patience. Uh, I'm so grateful and encouraged to see that there are many visitors on Sunday mornings, uh, but this also makes seating a challenge. So uh, we'll, if the sanctuary is beginning to fill, we will open some more spaces on the floor, uh, maintaining as much distance as possible. Uh, but regardless, we'll have stricter social distancing in the balcony. So if you have unvaccinated children or someone in your family who's high risk, feel free to request to the deacons or ushers to be seated in the balcony. Uh, but our policy continues to be that we're practicing social distancing and that masks are required. This coming Sunday, the 22nd, between the two services, we'll have a congregational meeting. Uh, the purpose of the congregational meeting is for you, the congregation, to receive the budget that the session has already approved. I like to think of the budget as a vision in number form, so we're excited to share that with you. Uh, and also the purpose of the congregational meeting is to approve the terms of call for the pastors. This is something that our Presbyterian Book of Order requires us to do every year. There will be childcare available during this meeting. Uh, parents of younger children can drop your children off on uh, the nursery hallway, older children in the fellowship hall. You'll find information here on Sunday morning. The meeting will also be live streamed for those of you who are at home. You'll see in the email below a separate link from the worship live stream. This link is just for the congregational meeting. Uh, please use that link to participate. You may also submit questions. Uh, before and after this congregational meeting on the 22nd, you'll have an opportunity to hear from staff uh, and some officers about needs for Sunday mornings. And then again on the 29th, the deacons are providing us with donuts in the Rose Garden and uh, nursery, children, staff, music staff, and other folks will be out there wanting to meet you and to let you know how you can pitch in to help make Sunday morning happen. And we want to continue to be praying for one another. Uh, pray for Margaret Scarce as she recovers from surgery this week. Also for Greg Duncan uh, and his wife Sue as Greg is on hospice. Jay Ferguson has surgery this week. And as many of you reminded us on Sunday morning, there's lots going on around us to be praying for. Um, students, family, teachers, administrators, many folks are going back to school. Healthcare workers among us and in our city and around the country are tired. And of course, uh, we've read the news about what's happening in Afghanistan. Many veterans are feeling this. Uh, global workers feeling afraid, and of course the people of that country as well. Um, let's remember them in our prayers. A word that I read this morning sticking with me and I'll share with you from Psalm 31. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. 